you can see by the slope of the lines that the, that the gender gap is much more pronounced among unmarried than among married. So uh, earmark or field mark of an inter interaction relationship where the relationship runs in the same direction in that in both uh, married and unmarried uh, categories, women are more likely than men to give the Democrats higher ratings, but the relationship is stronger among unmarried respondents. Let's uh, cover on how to uh, create this graph. Click graphs, legacy dialogues, line, click multiple because now we're going to have two lines as you can see within the graphic space. Click define. Uh, the define lines by, just as before when we did the cross tabulation uh, line graph, is the control variable. So let's find married, that goes in the define lines by box. Category axis, as always, is the independent variable that goes in the category axis box. And for the dependent, that's the feeling thermometer of Democrats. We found it here. Click Other Statistic, that lights up the box. Click FT underscore Dem over, and SPSS responds with mean FT Dem, which is exactly what we want in this case. We don't have to uh, change statistic. Uh, we can just go and click right through this, so click OK. And there we have it. This is the, the, the bare bones uh, graphic. We can see it's, it's kinship to the edited one. I'm going to double click and get into the editor here. As usual, let's change the background. I selected the graphic space, click the properties window. We will click fill, white, apply, border, white, apply. This ought to be a fairly standard procedure uh, in, in graphic now to sort of white things out doesn't really matter what order you do this in. Let's click the uh, uh, x-axis title, gender. Hold down the control key. Click the y-axis title. And let's unbold them. That'll be normal. Apply. I'm just going to abbreviate the, I'm going to click once more in the y-axis title and just take out mean pre. Just make it a little shorter. Feeling thermometer, Democratic Party. I'm going to select the lines by just clicking on one of them. Now they're both selected. I'm going to come over here and make the weight a little heavier. Two. Click Apply. I'm going to click once on the unmarried line. And I'm going to change its style to dashed, apply, and then we'll make it black, apply. Let's go down to the married line here bottom. Click once. It's selected. We'll make it black. Apply. You can see what I did, what I, I'll do in a, in a graphic like this is often I'll select the legend and tug it over to a corner where it's, you know, it's sort of out of the way, uh, unobtrusive. Then, as we did earlier, I'm going to click line, I'm going to ch click chart size and just make the graphic a little wider uh, than it is now. Give it a little bit more better aspect ratio. Unclick maintain aspect ratio. I'll leave the height at 5.2. Let's change the width to just add a digit there, make it 7.51. Click apply. That spreads it out just a little bit. And then just close everything out. There you go, multiple line chart.